ever wanted to play Hotel California and then just break out into which is the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Higher Ground. But if you really know, it's Stevie Wonder's Higher Ground. This is for you. Feast your eyes on this Ibanez in our second edition of it, It Came From Japan. I took one look at this and I said, I need this. And if you like, Smut films, autoerotic asphyxiation, those weird news groups online, and I don't know, taking candy from babies and giving candy to people in alleyways. This guitar is also for you. So when I was doing my video for Lost Symphony for All Wait by Van Halen for Slay at Home, you know, it's a, it's a metal injection fundraiser that happened during COVID. Uh, I got this to play the bass. You know, a lot of people didn't even think Michael Anthony played bass on it, but oh yes, he did. And when I played it in the video, boy, did I look badass. My back did not feel better for a long time, but I felt great. This is an example of what Ibanez, what they were doing in Japan, while we in America were making Gibsons. Ibanez was copying Gibsons. And this is an example of copying the ES-1275, which is basically um, the Gibson that you see in Hotel California, except it's got an EB-3 is what this is a copy of. And the thing that's really interesting about this is I believe that this neck was taken off an Ibanez 12 string of the same period and put on because I've never seen a 412. Normally this would be a six string. This is a 412, and this is definitely a period correct neck, so whoever did it, man, you fooled me, but this is pretty badass, and I gotta tell you, when I plug this thing in, this bass sounds incredible, and this 12 string sounds incredible. Uh, a lot of the Ibanezes that were made during this period, they rival the Norland era guitars. In fact, I have a few Gibson basses that are very similar to this, and I prefer this. I don't know it's because it has, I don't know, the mass of like 17 guitars in one, or that it says, made in Japan. But Ibanez, your copy is cool. This is a 1974-1975 Ibanez 2408 custom agent. I know that because I have an internet connection. But one of the things that makes this guitar super cool is that during this time period, Gibson was trying to sue the crap out of Ibanez because they were ripping off their guitars. They were making Les Paul copies. They were making copies of Explorers and Flying Vs. And you can tell this is before that because as you can see, it has the flower pot Gibson logo on the headstock. Now the later versions have some alien going like, Nee! because they got sued by Gibson and now they had serial numbers, but this is known as the pre-serial number phase. Uh, I think it's again, 74 to early 76, where you had Gibson appointments. But the thing that kind of stinks about that in this case is that although many of these are considered copies of the Les Paul, this is the first guitar that Ibanez was like, nah, we're not really copying anything. Maybe they thought it was a copy, but somebody in Japan was taking the DMT because this is a crazy guitar. First off, this is all original. It's missing a few things, but we'll just go piece by piece. You got like a 37 ply body, which is very cool. You got this mother of pearl sort of flower potty thing inlaid on the top. As someone that likes grandiose over the top things, this makes me smile just like you should when you're subscribing and liking and sharing, because I appreciate you. Then it has these witch hat knobs, which you find on a lot of the 60s um, Gibsons. In fact, they may have actually been from Gibson. I don't know, I suspect Ibanez stole them, those Japanese smart people. One of my favorite things is that this pickguard is outrageous. If you look at it, it's multiply pickguard and it's all done like Salvador Dali style. I mean, it's literally, not even the same on all the layers. It's like got topography and you can stab someone with this. But one of the things that's missing the very most on these guitars 
are the pick guards. So we're there, although, as you can see, the headstock has a crack because this had a scroll. Yeah, guys, a scroll. Gibson wasn't doing a scroll. I mean, they were breaking headstocks in other ways, but uh, this had a scroll. Uh, that bums me out that, they're, that it's missing. And the Super 70s pickups, which were made in the Matsumoko factory, sound incredible. In fact, a lot of people thought that these sounded better than the Norlin era T-tops and some of the other pickups that are being put in Les Pauls at that time. I agree. I think that these, these pickups sound as good as anything that Gibson has ever made. And uh, if you get Super 70s in your guitar, you should be super psyched. They used to have embossed Ibanez covers because Gibson used to have embossed pickup covers that said Gibson. So if you didn't know that this was an Ibanez, there were gold covers that said Ibanez. They've been lost to time. But where this guitar is super different than a Les Paul, first off, these inlays. They're like banjo inlays, and they're not the same as a Les Paul. So I don't think that they're copying Gibson. In fact, this is a very unique, interesting thing that Ibanez should take care, uh, credit for. Uh, the neck is bound rosewood, but it's a really, really thin neck, and it's very, very thin. So where a lot of Les Pauls have like a lot more girth to them, this is like they knew they were gonna be a shred company. I think the design on this is great, and this absolutely is a Les Paul killer. And look at the back of these, these tuners. They had stars on them. Uh, one star for each class in art. I got a, I, I drew a stick figure properly. Six of them. And if there's anything that Ibanez has taught me, that although they might have been making copies, they certainly stumbled upon their own thing over there in Japan, and I like it. The quality's great, they sound awesome, and man, if there's anything that makes me happy, it's inlaid mollusk for no reason at all. Why don't you smash that subscribe button already? Well, if you ever need to play Mama, I'm Coming Home and No More... If you ever wanted to play Hotel California in the middle, just wanted to break out into... If you ever need to play Wanted, Dead or Alive, or uh, some Red Hot Chili Peppers, Higher Ground, it's really stay view. <laughs>